Hey everybody, Tatiana Ward here with BeatFaceHoney.com. I wanted to come to you guys with um, a topic that is going to upset some people. But fortunately I'm only here to give information to those who are willing to receive it. And that's my mission, so that's what I'm gonna do. So many issues I don't speak about because it really doesn't matter, but this one matters. And it is the topic of to be certified or not to be certified, uh, to be licensed or not to be licensed. When I was starting my journey as a makeup artist, I thought that you had to be certified. And then I did my research and found out that you don't. So I am coming to you as um, a makeup artist who is not certified or licensed. That, however, does not mean that I'm not educated in my craft. Education and certification are two different things. So many people ask me daily if they will receive a certification for attending my Behind the Beat class that I felt I had to address the topic. I do not and never have handed out certifications at my classes. Could I hand out certifications? Yes. But the truth about certifications are that there is no state in the United States that recognizes a certification as far as makeup artistry goes. What this means is that I could go to Staples and buy a stack of certificates and write all of your names on it and you are now certified. It wouldn't cost me a ton of money to do that, but it just didn't feel right to give you a certification when I'm not even certified. There are people that are under the misconception that in order to work at a makeup counter, you have to be certified or licensed. You do not. In order to freelance and start your own business and create your LLC, people think that you have to have a license or be certified, and you don't. If it makes any sense to you, the magnitude of how important a certification or license is, I don't even have to be certified to give you a certificate. There are so many people running around saying, I'm a certified makeup artist and making other people feel bad that they're not certified when the fact of the matter is you can do nothing with that certification. Now, let me explain to you what a license is. A license is something entirely different. In my travels of trying to become successful and find my niche in makeup artistry, I began to go to salons seeking employment and trying to figure out if I could become an employee and work for them and do makeup in hair salons and spas. And I found out that you have to be licensed in order to work for some businesses, in order to receive a check from them. A license is government issued and state issued. Um, a certificate you can get from anybody and it's just a piece of paper. Now that does not mean that you have to have a license to freelance. Again, you can freelance without either. So because I decided that it would be a good look for me to work in a salon and maybe I would make more money that way, I went to go get the minimum license that I could get from a beauty school. And there are beauty schools that teach makeup. The, the beauty school that I went to in Philadelphia is called Jean Madeline and they have a makeup course. However, it is not a licensed course. You don't get a license. So I needed a license in order to work in a salon. So I went to go get um, a license in aesthetics or to be an esthetician. And it was the same kind of school where they taught cosmetology and nails and an esthetician is somebody who does skincare. They specialize in skincare. They also do waxing. So I went and I took the however many hours it took in order to qualify to take the state boards and get the license. And I completed my hours and then started apprenticing in the salon. I could apprentice because I was in a certain amount of time span to where I was going to get my license so I could begin to work. And then I realized that after I saw 10,000 vaginas being waxed, that I did not want to be an esthetician. <laughs> so I never went and I never got my state boards. I never got my license. Total waste of money. Although education is never a waste of money. I did learn how to wax, which eventually came in handy. Um, and I, I quit that job and uh, was working at the strip club doing makeup. Didn't need a license or a certificate for that because I wasn't being paid by the strip club. I was being paid by the dancers who were independent contractors. I promise you 100% that there's not a single opportunity that I've gotten in makeup artistry where somebody asked me for 
either one of those qualifications. All they cared about was can I paint? And I use the analogy all the time when I talk about this of uh, Whitney Houston walking into Clive Davis's offices. Clive Davis is the man who discovered her. He was the founder of Arista Records. When she walked into his office, he never said, where's your bachelor's degree in singing? He didn't give a damn. All he cared about was, can you sing? It's the same thing with makeup. Now, is that to say that it's a sham to get a certification? Absolutely not. It's great to have any qualifications that you can. If you're brand new to makeup artistry and you go to a class and you get a certificate, it still doesn't matter if you can't do makeup. It's nice to hang on the wall. It's, it's nice to say that you're dedicated to your craft enough to take classes, but there's a difference between education and certification. You could come to my class and be educated and walk away without a certificate, but still find work. Education is absolutely important. I t have taken classes from artists who are way better than me because I wanted to learn. And I've also taken classes from people that I knew I was stronger in makeup than that person. But still, there's something to be learned from everybody. And I've never walked away from a class and not felt like I didn't learn something. Plenty of people say to me, well, I understand that the state doesn't recognize it. I understand that it doesn't make you a makeup artist, but it is helpful to makeup artists who are looking to get uh, discounts from certain brands. A lot of makeup brands have a pro program to where you give them certain qualifications and they will allow you to get a discount. I got all of my discounts without a certification or a license, but I also started and, and acquired my discounts a long time ago. The market is more saturated now. There's so many people walking around with certifications. Plenty of people are trying to be makeup artists, so I think that they've cracked down on it and they've made it harder for people to get the discounts. But I did my research just a couple days ago and looked up the qualifications from several different makeup companies um, that will allow you to get your discount. NARS. NARS accepts a certificate only up to 25% off. And it must be a 40 hour course or more. There's a lot of people that I see giving certificates away and the class is no more than six hours. And NARS doesn't accept, I'm reading from something, NARS does not accept a certificate if you want a 30 or 40% discount. MAC is the only one that just accepts a certificate as means of qualification and no limit on the time frame. It doesn't have to be a 40 hour certificate, it could just be any certificate. Makeup Forever doesn't accept a certificate for 40 or 20% discounts. Inglot does not accept certificates at all. Smashbox does not accept certificates, but does accept a license. Laura Mercier does not ex accept certificates. Bobby Brown does not accept certificates. Not even every brand will accept a license because just because you are licensed as a beautician does not make you a makeup artist. You can get a license as a hairstylist, but it doesn't make you a makeup artist, so some of these brands don't even accept a license. Should you continue your education and learn from people who are working in the field? Absolutely. And if it comes with a certificate, great. It does nothing but look good on your resume to say that you've learned and studied under somebody who is working and that you've taken the effort. And I can't stress enough, I think the most important part of that is this is coming from somebody who's never been certified and never been licensed. And I've worked with some amazing talents that I won't name because it upsets people when I name people. And none of them asked me for a license or a certificate or even if I graduated high school. So I struggled with whether or not I was gonna start giving out certificates because so many people ask about certificates and they put such a value on it. It just didn't, it doesn't feel right to me because I know that it doesn't really matter and that I've made it this far without and that it's not necessary. The most important thing that you can do is continue to educate yourself and become a good makeup artist. But just know that if you're walking into a class and you don't really know makeup and you're getting a certificate, nobody cares. That may sound harsh, but that's a reality. I've never been one for sugarcoating things. I will be in St. Louis and Memphis this weekend. Tickets are still on sale for those classes. You can go to my Instagram. There's a link in my bio where you can get your ticket to learn from me and yeah, all I really want is for you guys to be great and understand 
uh, both the business and um, especially the technique. The most important thing is the technique. And you could become an expert and be hailed as an expert, um, as I have, although I am totally not an expert. There's always something new to learn. Um, but you could be self-taught and be successful. So yeah, that's it. Hope I didn't piss anybody off anymore. And I'll be back with more thoughts and tutorials for you in the near future. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.